I was wrong. I made a video a couple weeks back saying that Homebrew is the best standalone package manager. And yeah, YouTube comment came in. This is the top one of the top comments of the video, among many other comments saying, what? I thought this was going to be about NIX. And this is one of those times where I looked at it. I was like, what the hell's NIX? So I had to go explore and I was totally wrong. NIX is amazing. So let's get on the desktop and look at it because I broke down all the syntax, I installed the packages, and not only is its repositories a lot larger as what it can build on Linux and also Mac OS, it is just uh, overall amazing utility with so many features that are just incredible. So I broke down everything from their manual page and left links to the source, uh, but I wanted to hit the highlights of what this is. It's a one-line install to get it going. You basically just copy this, come over to your terminal, put it in, and this will install NIX and literally you know, I think it only took like five or 10 seconds, something like that. It, it's so darn quick uh, that this is the full install. Uh, so when Homebrew was installing, it takes a long time to update and install and a lot of other things. NIX's speed difference was night and day. So wow, really, really impressive. And then finding packages, I, you could do it through the terminal, but it actually takes a little bit longer, I found. Uh, just coming into their search feature, I left a little link uh, to find any different package. And you might be thinking, why do you need this if you're using like Fedora or Debian, whatever your distribution, uh, why would you use this instead of, you know, building it yourself? And the thing is, it keeps it all up to date for you. And also you get the bleeding edge of many packages. So Debian usually runs a bit behind. I was looking at like Rofi packages and other things because I have a fun little project, a little sneak peek for you. I wanted to transform this project right here. Yoru, Yoru, you? I don't know. I'm saying it wrong. I'm, I always say things wrong. It's just kind of my MO these days. Uh, but it was such a very sleek aesthetic. And I wanted to bring this to a Debian environment, much like I kind of did my BSPWM. And I needed to probably do a little bit better job with it. But each time I do this, I get a little bit better. Getting a, a level of mastery requires lots of repetition. So it's important to kind of keep doing this and getting better in each time at building the perfect desktop I find. So I saw this one and it's intriguing. And instead of just installing it via his instructions through Arch, I wanted to install it on a Debian or even a Fedora system. And a lot of the packages down here you'll notice are from Arch Linux, which means they're newer versions. And to get that newer version, you may not have it in apt or, or you know, your Debian or DNF if you're on Fedora and you need that latest and greatest version and you could easily do it. I was looking up Rofi to make sure the version I was grabbing from apt was okay. Uh, if I was on a stable version of Debian, it wouldn't have been, it would have been too old. And I could easily use NIX to get the, the latest version and be able to install and use this even though I'm not using Arch Linux. So how do you actually use NIX? That's the next question so many people have. So you can find all the packages you want, super easy installation. The usage is even easier, NIX, E N V query. There's a lot of different uh, tags for NIX, but this is just the basic ones that I found and how I utilize it. There's, uh, I'll touch on some of the more advanced features at the end of this video. But uh, NIX environment, you can see I have just regular NIX, which is the base system, and then Hugo installed. And you can see it's Hugo 101, where if I were to do a sudo apt search Hugo, you can see the Hugo on Debian SID is 101, so actually it would be okay grabbing it from Debian SID, but a lot of times this package is too far behind that uh, I couldn't utilize it. Or sometimes you just wouldn't get a package. Like VS Code is a good example, or Codium, you need to add repositories. And when I do a uh, apt update on this new Debian install, I don't want a ton of different repositories. As you see, I just have Brave, Debian, and then uh, a VS Code repo. But let's say I wanted to remove that VS Code and also Brave, and I only wanted the base Debian repo so I have the most stable system because there's not a bunch of repositories that could junk things up, so to speak. I could come into the search and just type in VS Code. And from VS Code, you can click into here and it shows you the install. Now, 
NIX OS is a completely separate Linux distribution. So all you do is grab the NIX ENV. And then for this, you just copy this non NIX one right here, and then come into your deal and you would put this in and install it. So let's cancel out of my VS code here and I'm gonna uninstall it from here and delete the repo so I have less repos. And when we do an update, now you'll notice we only have those two repositories and we can paste that. So all we need to do is export unfree. Yeah, reading is valuable. <laughs> so we'll export unfree and then we're gonna install it again. All right, and that looked like it worked. Let's see if it launches code. Sure enough, there's our code. And we'll push that back over to Workspace 4. Close that out. And now we have less repositories. We still have code in there. Um, but you know what? We could even go a little bit further. Like I use GitHub Desktop a lot. And uh, let's see if it's in, in here because it's really hard to install GitHub Desktop in a lot of ways. Uh, so let's go GitHub Desktop. Oh, look at this. There's a GUI for D GitHub Desktop. Instead of having to go to like GitHub and do all that, we can actually build GitHub Desktop and move it from here. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but this one, I'm just gonna go apt purge GitHub Desktop. And we're just gonna remove it. And then I'm gonna install GitHub Desktop now. And the reason why I'm doing this is I had to download a dev package and manually install GitHub Desktop, where this way, when using NIX, I can just do it. There's very few uh, full distros that has GitHub Desktop. I think uh, the AUR and Arch can build it for you, but it's not really there other than that. And we can push GitHub Desktop all the way over here with everything so now i could sync this entire uh, web page with all these other commands and if we wanted to remove any of these i have the same cheat sheet you can just do nix env e to erase the package which erases it and if we come here let's cancel that we do an nix env u like this this would upgrade my github desktop my hugo my uh, code my vs codium all of that in one go uh, which is really really nice you can even hold packages using just the set flag keep true and then the package name so if i want to hold like github desktop or vs code in that specific uh version i would simply just put code right there or vs code and it even has backups and you can restore different backups of this so let's uh come on over to here and we can do nix env and just query what we have installed so far let's install just a junk package that we don't care about and with that let's type fresh fetch oh that's cool kind of a, a different spin on neo fetch but okay we don't particularly like that and let's say something happened with this install and now things aren't working right or the dependencies got jacked up a lot of different things can happen with packages on linux so let's take a look at the generations or the backups that nix has done and if we do a list generations you can see we have all these generations now i could easily just erase fresh fetch if i didn't want it but let's pretend something happened to where we couldn't or there was a bunch of errors uh, we could actually just do nix env dash dash rollback this rolls back from seven to six or you could even select a generation and go all the way back before this all started and and install that i actually kind of want everything so i'm just going to roll back to one so now if we do nix env query you'll notice that's gone which is kind of nice so before you can see we installed fresh fetch we had these four and now we're back to that. And if we type fresh fetch, no such file or directory, it's gone. It's purged that quickly. So thank you for that YouTube comment and all the people that comment, hey, do NIX. Uh, I, there's so much to go, go through and some of the more advanced features was you could actually uh, put this in home directories and other things like uh, I'm thinking of Steam Deck here when the Steam Deck you don't necessarily want to overwrite all the root packages because Steam OS on a major update will overwrite anything you do to the core OS where if you did it in an NIX home directory or you could even do build packages to just install all your programs in one script 
in an NIX instance. Uh, so there's so much to go through in NIX, which uh, I'll leave a link to my web website down below. And if you're interested in it, you could easily go through their entire manual because this just scratches the surface to kind of get your feet wet with it. And uh, just know you can do pretty much anything you ever wanted to do with a package manager with NIX. So thank you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.